Under immense pressure with her French Open title defense just around the corner, Garbine Nguaruz is determined to brush off the cobwebs and land some big wins in Rome this week. Nguaruz's run to glory in Paris actually started in Rome last year when she made the semi-finals could a repeat of her 2016 heroics be on the horizon again. With so much uncertainty and unpredictability surrounding the WTA tour right now, why not? Trying to stop Nguaruz on Thursday at the Foro Italico is Giulia Gorges the powerful German player who is enjoying a nice run of form in Rome this week. Nguaruzu and Gorges take to court 4 p.m. local time on Thursday 3 p.m. BST. Heading into her Rome Open a winless on clay and out of form for the better part of the last 12 months, it was approaching now or never status for Nguaruzu at least in terms of gaining sufficient match practice and confidence before rocking up to Roland Garros for her title defense. And after Jell and Ostapenko started blasting winners with ease from all over the court and claimed the opening set 6 to 2, things weren't looking great. However, Muguruza was up to the challenge, raising her game significantly, which in turn caused the 19 year old to panic slightly, with Ostapenko starting to spray some errors. Muguruza took full advantage and remained assertive throughout the remainder of the contest, keeping her foot on the pedal and never wavering during what was ultimately an impressive 2 to 6, 6 to 2, 6 to 1 victory. While Muguruza has beaten better and higher ranked players than Ostapenko this season, you'd be hard pressed to find a more important win for the Spaniard in 2017 than Wednesday night's triumph. Sure, beating Svetlana Kuznetsova to make the Brisbane semi-finals and also making the quarter-finals of the Australian Open and Indian Wells defeating Elina Svidolina are solid enough results, but Nguaruza had really been struggling since making the transition to clay, losing in the first round of Stuttgart to qualify Annette Contavit who incidentally just beat no one and Kerber in Rome, and falling to Timia Baxin-Shki in her Madrid opener last week.